coming to you from the international headquarters of Scotty DTV. But I was out at Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors. And they were just finishing up a 1968 Camaro I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around and we'll take a quick look at it. Steve, what a cool first generation Camaro. It is. It is. It's pretty sharp. Is that a gasser? <laughs> it did look like it. I was, I was wondering that myself when he came in. But then he keyed, uh, it, it blows a key tincture out of uh, Virginia. And that was one of the first things I asked. I was like, uh, that's that front end says up a little high, and he started laughing. He said, "Yeah." He said, I, he, "When he gets it back, he's going to tuck the wheels in and slam it on the ground a little bit, fix it up." Yeah, because a lot of times when these cars show up, they're not dialed in. They're right. the interior in. They're close. They look like they're finished, but they still got a lot of detail work. They're tired of messing with it, and they say, "Here, let me take a break and take it to the right. interior shop." And then when they get it back from the in, uh, interior shop, then they're like, "Oh yeah, I'm ready to get this thing finished up." Man, I really dig that color. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. They, um, Keith and them, and his wife picked out, I had them to come out and pick out the colors. They picked out a two-tone uh, brown, but I, I picked out the the material for the um, insert and stuff, so it looked really good. But it's got like a satin finish on that, or a metal finish or something. That yeah, material. I wanted something to look really high-tech, Right. and uh, I think that achieved it. You know, yeah. put the dark brown carpet in it, and then the dark brown stitch all the way around it. I like that dark brown carpet in it, it looks really good. Mm -hmm. And then you modernize the console. Well. Yeah, uh, Keith said, I want something that nobody else has. I was like, oh my goodness, okay, another one of those cars. <laughs> right. So we, uh, I, I got Tim Ammons, he did an excellent, excellent job on all that dash and console and the tops of doors and stuff. He, uh, now, people wonder why it costs so much. Tim, just him himself, is two and a half months paying him just to build that console and that dash and stuff. That ain't oh, counting everybody oh, else's labor man, and the wow. materials and everything. So you can imagine what, how much uh, I've got just in payroll in this car. A lot of detail work in the front of that console though. Oh yeah. It's racing the, on it and, it and it's open up. Oh, it ain't going, it ain't going yeah. nowhere. It's built to last and you can, it's functional. You can actually pull the bottom of the dash out, get to the uh, fuse panels and you know, and everything. We put speakers in the top of it. It's got AC vents in it. It's got, Backlight LED underneath it. I mean, it's 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 all out. I mean, it's cup holders. Cup holders. It's got everything you can imagine. I mean, you sort of got the you know the side coming down like a Corvette, the newer model right, right. Corvettes. Yeah, that's what I uh, think. Yeah. You know, just something to really give it a modern look. Um, of course, it's got the power windows in it. Um, what about the trunk? We did the trunk to match the interior. You know, like it. There's not a whole lot you can do on a small trunk on the miles, but it's, you know, we put the side doors on it. You can fold down the uh, both sides. One side's got the uh, power switch. You got the power switch on and off, so you just reach in there, open the door, shut it, you know, turn the power on and off. The other side's got the amplifier in it, and then in the back, underneath the uh, the, the package tray behind the seats, we got a subwoofer back there. And uh, this sounds really good. Put a late model uh, screen in it. That that screen's actually an Android. It's almost more like a computer than a than a radio. Oh wow! That plays your radio. Now, if you got a uh, a hot spot, you know, like your telephone. You can actually look up YouTube videos and everything on that on that screen. Oh, that's cool. Check your email, your messages. I mean, it's it's just like a computer. Wow. So it was that was something different. We Who just makes that? Uh, question. Amazon. <laughs> I don't even remember the name of it, but I mean, it was pretty cool. You know, and, and uh, relatively, you know, pretty reasonable with price and stuff. So. And you put some modern trim in it, kind of like Stingray trim in it, almost. I think. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, just try to make it. Uh, well, when, when when Keith said he wanted something different, we made something different. I mean, you know, we used a, a lot of the newer style materials and things like that. Of course, we did the leather like we do all the... What power is this big block, this thing? It, it's big block Chevrolet. I'm not exactly sure of the, the cubic inch, but it is a big block and a six-speed transmission. Right. So it's, it's pretty, it sounds pretty hefty. I think he's going to drive it. It's kind of set up to look Oh, he is. Yeah, yeah he just want, he's, he said this, that's what he wants to do with this. He just wanted a really cool interior and he wants to drive this car. You know, it's definitely not a trailer queen. Right. He's gonna get out and enjoy it, but he wanted the late model touches on the interior, so we did that. Did the two-tone headliner in, it's got a leather wrap all the way around the backside. Uh, a pillars and the uh, back B pillars, whatever you call these things on these yeah. cars. You know, but then the leather wrap all the way around it, so it, it looked really neat. Put an LED light in the, in the top of it, where it, when you open the doors, it comes on. Did you take the vent windows out of it? This is 68, they didn't uh, have them. 67. Yeah. 60, them. Exactly, yeah. 68 didn't have anything. Didn't have the nope. nine windows and didn't have the grills on the side. Right. Huh. Yeah, that's the only way I can tell them apart. 67 yeah. had vents, 68 didn't. Right. And then the 69, the wheel wells are more straight. Right. And they had the uh, yeah, the little, in the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. 
No, cool car. I love the color. I'm sure they'll get the stance fixed on it. And oh, of course, yeah. You and the boys nailed that interior. I'll tell you, what, it, it was a it was a long process on this one, but it sure turned out nice. I think it looks pretty good. Hope the customer's really happy with it. I'm sure he will be. Again, y'all rocked it. Scotty, I appreciate it, as always. Thank you, brother. Thank you. So there you go from Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, a 1968 Camaro. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. See ya! Y'all make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.